I need to apologize for everything I've said and done to every single individual that I have hurt, that I have said to, and I feel like I need to apologize to um, a lot of people that I could have had friends with in the, in the thing, a lot of people that I could have had bonds with, but instead, I don't know. But other than that, I just think I need to say this. <sighs> I deeply regret saying those things to you, Oddish, about everything that I have said and and everything that I have said about your kid. And I would have never said that. I don't know why I said that. I I basically was talking shit. <laughs> basically, I was talking shit out of my fucking mouth. I'm guessing because it's just shit, you know. And I'm sorry. I want to apologize for this shit that I have that I've done. I made a mistake. And yes, I made several mistakes that I want to amend and Oddish I don't know why I even wanted to be friends with her in the begin with she just she just decided to I guess manipulate me at one point she manipulated me and you were right She's a manipulative, lying bitch. She is. I can understand what you went through because I did not know. What you went through, I can understand that. But I cannot say for myself. I can only say... I can only, like, kind of, imp like, I can only sympathize with you and empathize with you a little bit because I was bullied myself and hurt by a lot of friends, manipulated by a lot of friends, and treated like shit growing up. But I don't know why I was trying to be friends with the lying, manipulative bitch anyway in the first place. I guess I just wanted to ask her why I was really, truly banned. Because I was literally saying all this. I wanted really closure, basically. Um, and then, literally, all I see and hear from her was like, like, I think it was just all lies coming out of her mouth like all of it all fucking lies all bullshit that's all bullshit like I don't understand why people want to manipulate and lie to a person that had so much shit going on in her life that she just wants to pick up I am sorry that I put you through so much stress and everything. I don't know what it's like to raise a child because I only babysit um, my nieces and nephews because I can't have kids right now until um, I'm married. So I'm waiting because I just want to wait. I just don't want to have kids yet until then. But if I had a kid, I'll probably feel the way you feel. 
it'll be tough. Yes, a lot of money uh, being spent on the kid, uh, feeding the kid, change the kid. It's like, it, it's just like a, a job, kind of like a job and stuff like that. It is kind of hard, and I know how it's hard to get a job too. I've been through the struggle with getting jobs and shit. I've been to the job. I never knew anything and I just replied to your reply I guess and yeah I just replied to everything that you just sent over on Twitter but I just think that I think I just want to have us come to a standstill made it think I you were in the wrong I don't know why and I don't know why I'm going in circles but my brain right now is mentally strained because recently I was in the fucking hospital because you want to know the truth she fucking um tricked me into oh be best friends um, let's be best friends, let's touch grass together, let's be best besties, do this, do that together. Now look at me. I am emotionless. I don't have any feelings right now. Like, I'm just thinking, like, what are friends for? Like, half the damn time I don't even know what friends even are anymore because... <laughs> everything but I just don't know why I even thought you guys were the problem because you weren't you were right you were so fucking right to the very fucking beginning I just didn't want to believe it I guess that's my fucking viking bullheadedness that went in <laughs> Or my grandmother's stubbornness that comes through, like, sometimes my grandmother would always say, you got my stubbornness. You always want to charge things head on and everything. Yes, the reason why I do that jaw pop thing is just to re relieve tension from my jaw. Um, I'm going down the line here. Auto assembly. Um, I'm sorry I ever made you feel like a horrible mom. I never wanted you to make that feel that way. I deleted that video because I felt ashamed. And I deleted the, all the other videos regarding you. Because I didn't want, I wanted to come to a standstill. I wanted to just get away from it I wanted just to have a ceasefire because my boyfriend told me just get rid of everything that would try to deal with the shit and he was right and right now um I'm just trying to do an apology live stream right now and recording so I have video proof and evidence that I do did a full apology. And yeah, like I understand that if you don't want to talk to me, don't want to do this, don't want to do that, it's fine. But 
Just know I am sincerely apologizing right now. Right this very fucking minute. As we're speaking on Twitter or commenting on Twitter or, or whatever, you know. I don't want to do it out of spite. I don't want to do it out of anything. So, for those who who don't know what I've that I don't want any more drama. I don't want any of it. I literally don't. I guess I just, I was literally like, because I was mad that you guys were like, feeling like I didn't matter in my own words because I did say I was not a big victim, but sort of a victim of her as well by her luring me into a false sense of hopelessness. And she literally put me through a lot of shit that I had literally had to go to a fucking mental hospital. Not once, but twice. Twice. One last year, one this year. So yeah, that, that, that's, that's the one thing that I wanted to clear up. Throughout that whole week, the reason why I deactivated my Twitter is because I was in a mental hospital. I didn't want to deal with bullshit. And I didn't want to deal with the drama related shit. So. And I know some of you are still mad and still want to be upset with me, but I want to let go. I know you want to let go. But. I feel like this this whole thing just just needs to stop. I want to come to a standstill. I want to be at a peaceful kind of level with things. And you were right. You guys were fucking right and shit. I didn't want to bring you into drama. I really didn't. But this Clara person, I fucking had it. Like, the reason why she would bring on constantly about me, I don't know why. She would constantly bring me on and bring me on, bring me on. And that's why I tried to contact you and be like, hey, is this person yours? I want it to stop. Because I don't like it. I fucking don't. I feel generally creeped out and generally just uncomfortable with the whole situation. But, truth be told, I fucked up. I thought what well, Wokecake said, that she was all right and high and mighty, that she couldn't be wrong. She couldn't be this person that I thought she would that she wouldn't be this um, fucking person that she would be. And then when I tried to ask her myself for things and she claimed to and they started accusing everybody that was in the Stop Woke Cake movement or whatever having done deals themselves I'm like huh and then the shit happened I'm like wow
and we, truth be told, we did become IRL friends. But just going out to malls and hanging out, like at a mall or at a con and stuff like that, but nothing major, nothing, nothing too, too big or anything like that, but. But I just think that what she did to me was all the other things that she did to others. Manipulate. She manipulated the friends and claimed that all the shit that she has is okay to, to be with or okay when it's not. She claimed that, and I thought it was strange. I wanted to investigate myself. I wanted to investigate it myself a little bit. And also get some closure on why, on certain things. But other than that, I just want to apologize to Brendan Play stuff, Macurole, and everybody in the the thing or the movement you guys are just people that try and do what you need to do and I'm trying to live my life right now just trying to go to work live my life the way I want to be and I want you guys to live your life the way you want to be and just do what you need to do. And I did make the wrong choice. And yeah. And I'm not going to put anything out there like all the shit that she does, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this shit no more. I'm putting my foot down. I'm always going to do my streams. I just want to be myself. I just want to be myself. Have fun with my friends. Which is only like a, only my inner circle. Only a certain few can come in if they want, and that's all they need to do. But, yeah, this whole thing, I think that this, I want it all to stop. I want everybody here to know that I want to apologize fully for what I did, what I said. And I feel very st stupid for what I said about Jenna Bun. Jenna Bun did not deserve my my thing, what I ever said. She did not. She is a person, a human being, just like me, just like you. But given the facts, though, she's a human being. Jenna Bun's a human being just like you and me. And I just didn't believe her at one point, but... I guess I just didn't want to believe all this shit. Because at one point, I guess I was obsessive with wubs at one point. Truth be told... Truth be told, I had a crush on her. And I felt very disgusted after myself. I felt very disgusted after what she'd done to me. And all the shit that 
I told her and shit, my personal feelings, my fears, my, um, as, as garophobia, everything. She just goes up and straight up abandons me. As garophobia. That's what I fucking have. A fear of being abandoned and forgotten. I wanted to apologize for everybody that is in the movement. I'm going to try to stay away from it. Leave y'all alone if you leave me alone. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. But as long as we keep the peace, and as long no one harasses me, Clara, I'm looking at you right now. Because... I'm literally doing this right now. Apologizing for my wrong fucking doings. I do not want any more drama between you and me. And you claim you're not part of the movement, but you're using the movement as your source. On your fucking Twitter. And I don't think that's very professional and shit. It's not very good. I'm just facing the facts here. I mean, even though I I can see right now how everyone here does not want to be harassed or anything, even I don't want to be harassed. I don't want to be harassed on my own stuff. I have a life too. I I have cats to feed. I literally have an emotional support pet that's literally... Come here, Mr. Come here. Where'd she go? Come here. Come here, baby girl. Y'all don't know I have an emotional support pet that when she comes, when she's cold. Hi, baby. Hi. You want to come up here? You come up? You come up here? Yeah. Yes, I have an emotional support pet. She has a collar and everything because... It signifies that she has her license. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. She has an emotional support pet license by the uh, ESA. So when she gets her um, emotional support pet, uh, emotional therapy thing, license, I will have her documented as an emotional and a pet therapy pet so yeah she helps me through a lot oh careful gotta be careful baby hey baby girl hi hello there we go let me get that out of your way there you go baby girl i'm sorry i know the headphones are too big i know I know you like to nudge mama. Yes, you do. <laughs> I know you like to nudge your mama so darn much that you love her, huh? But this is my emotional support pet. She's a good girl. Yeah, good girl. I do this when, whenever I get stressed, she'll come near me. And this is the only time when she'll see me or only time when I'm home. Because since I um, work night shifts like 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. And I will sleep during the day. So that's why. All right, you want down? You want down? You want down, down? You want down? Yeah, you're on camera. Oh, oh you're on camera. What you go do about it? You want down? Yeah, you want down? Okay, let me put you down. Come on. All right, go on. There you go. Good girl. Anyway. Um. <laughs> she's a cute little spud, but she could be a little firecracker. Oh. Hi. 
Oh, honey, a sweetheart. Yeah, mommy's fine. It's okay. She's fine. It's okay. She's not stressed a little bit anymore right now, okay? You can, you can, you can do what you need to do. There you go. Go see Papa. Look us with Daddy. Go with do Daddy, okay? But, um... The... The... I think this whole situation has just gone to a freaking spiral. And... I just want it to all stop. I I know you guys want it to stop. I want it to stop. Can we just come at a standstill? And I want it all just to quit. The whole drama, everything. I just want everything just to calm down. You know, just like I know that doesn't sound me, but I want everyone just to calm down, take a breather everything because everything that I've said and done in my life I don't know I don't know how to process some things and I just want everyone to know that you guys deserve a lot of things And I'm sorry for calling you. I'm not calling you any odd thing out on here, Oddish Emily or Emily or I don't even know how to. I don't want to butcher anybody's code names here. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I'm just gonna say Emily there. I don't want to butcher anybody's freaking names, code names, whatever. Um. I never wanted to say that shit, but my mind started spilling that shit out because all of it was just in my head at the time. No scripts, no nothing. It was just all in my fucking head at that one point. And I needed to well, quote-unquote, vent about it because I thought that fucking her was telling the truth, but she was manipulating me like a little bitch. But to tell you the truth, I just don't need that in my life. And I don't think that anybody, nobody should be told that that um that um that you're not a good parent for doing that shit providing money for your kid is an important thing i mean yeah that is a job it is a job i i respect you for it and i apologize for saying shit like that that I really fucked up on and I apologize for it, Emily. I literally fucked up. I really fucking did. And I did not like the outcome of it after when Wubs decided to ditch me. That's when I had that mental spiral on Wednesday and just wanted to hurt myself because of all the shit that went down. Because of my fucking as the god of phobia or whatever it's fucking called, my friend found out what my phobia is being forgotten and abandoned. As the god of as F that's the agoraphobia. It's something that has to do with the feeling of forgotten and abandonment. And I feel sorry f for my, for 
everyone that is dealing with the shit that's going on right now. And I just don't feel like, um, that I don't need to deal with this shit no more. I want everyone just to be nice and not try to attack me, please. When I've done literally trying to defend myself from people that want to antagonize me. There's people have been out there trying to antagonize me from the very beginning. A lot of people. But that's just me. There has, there's just a lot of things in my mind right now that I can't explain or can't, can't process at the moment to think on because, like I said, no scripts because I'm not, I'm not a script writer. I'm not nothing. I'm just literally talking on camera, you know? I just do talk, talk, talk on the camera. Try to, try to do this without fucking doing the, doing the scripts, trying to look professional, which, I mean, come on, every YouTuber is not professional at it, their first try, aren't right? I mean, nobody's professional at their first try being a YouTuber. And right now, I'm not. I'm not a professional. I try to, I try to be, but I'm just not. I'm not very good at it. I try not to, try not to let it phase me or anything like that but I just I just think that whenever you guys whenever you guys want to Like, I'm, oh God, I don't know what my brain. Like, I can't even process right now. I, I really can't. I really fucking can't right now, bro. Holy shit. I really can't fucking process what the fuck I was about to fucking say. This is like, like the first time in my life where I just like blank out while I'm trying to make an apology video. Cause the rest of them are just scrambling and crying. Trying to say I'm sorry and shit like that. Like, I know I fucked up. I'm not proud of it. I'm really not proud of anything I have at the moment. And I want to face the facts. I want to face the whole truth. And I don't want, like, any people just coming at me and telling me all this shit. 
in my face is spewing out bullshit and all that crap because they just want to. But other than that, I think my judgment has been made and everything. But, yeah. Everything that needs to be done and said here, I apologize for everything. I just want everything to fucking stop. And I want nothing to do with her. I want nothing to do with you guys. Can we just come to agreement and stand still? That's all I ask. A freaking stand still. Like, nothing else. Nothing else but a standstill. Nothing but a standstill, because that's what I want. I have nothing else but that. It's all I want. Is just having peace in mind that I could just work at my work, come home, do my stream, no bad things happening, and just go to bed. You know, I just want that. I want peace in mind that nobody will do anything to me. I know it's been like 30 minutes, and I know just someone just popped in here. Um, Sorry for um, whoever just popped in here. I will have a recorded video. Um, my brain just farted. My brain farted again. Um, I will have a recorded video popped up soon that will be unedited for you guys to watch and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Unedited, nothing. Because I don't need it to shit. But other than that, I hope you guys take care. Um, none of this should have fucking happened. None of this drama should have happened. None of it. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Oh. And. Yeah. Trying to think of who else to apologize to, but I gotta make a list on who. Um, if anyone needs me to apologize to them, just put in the comments. I don't know. Just put in the comments down below. Thanks.